welcome back i'm back again finally it did not take so long so today i have a lot of crawfish again i have five pounds under there and of course i have king crab for the sauce i do have this is my coconut milk sauce i love 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 that one i have a rice i have um coke here please check the link down below of the coldest water very very awesome water bottle so yeah oh one more thing i did launch another leather product which is so cute and love it very much so this is a small leather coin pouch so basically there's um swivel hook right here where you can which a lot of people use as a keychain also this is so cute i love this very much i personally use this one and i love it it will fit comfortably of the credit card cash also it will fit um your car keys in it so yeah so cute let's get started i'm gonna have a king crab first because that's what i've been craving for so long oh is that hard I have so many leather accessories now that is very, very affordable. And everything is free shipping, by the way. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Let me, let me get um, a thumbnail out of this. Man, there's onion garlic here. Mm. I mean, like, look at that. Oh, my God. Mm. I don't think you can beat this sauce. That's so good. Mm -hmm. Wow. I love the legs. Can't go wrong with this. Look at that meat. Mmm. One more thing. I like to get greet you a happy Father's Day. Also, to your husband, to your brother, to your father. Please tell them Happy Father's Day for me. Um. I hope everybody's enjoying their Father's Day. I know here in Bay Area it's nice. So, probably a lot of people are grilling. Hmm. I gave 
crafts i love this craft so much i want to share it so i gave five pounds of crawfish to our mailman i'm sure they will enjoy it um he just picked it up today so they're gonna have it as their additional food for their father's day that's cool he's a great mailman by the way As you all know, I'm selling face masks, so I send I send out a lot of face masks through mail. And he never failed to pick it up. Even if we don't have any mail, he always stopped by. Pick up my mail. So that's kind of nice. Just a small thing, you know, as a thank you for being awesome. Just so they also know they're appreciated, what they do. Mm. Oh my God. I'm not kidding you. The last time I did crawfish video, I have a lot of head left over. So what I do is I separate them in portion of one meal and then I freeze them and whenever I feel like eating crawfish I just get one batch that I can eat for that day and yeah that's how I do that's how I eat my leftover I enjoy I enjoy them so much by the way. Eat the leftover heads and have some rice with it. I'm set. My meal is complete. This is so good. Mm. Oops. I love the king crab in Costco because they're big like this. Really big because whenever I buy it in Albertson or Lucky or Safeway. They're smaller. This is so awesome. Can you believe it? I'm back on doing mukbang again <laughs> for so long. I've gone, I've been gone for so long. I'm leaving you guys hanging. I 
I know some of you, when you guys don't see me for a long time, I know some of you will message me, will message me asking where am I. I really, I really appreciate for the people who do that because it always remind me that I need to do more mukbang again. Can you believe grow, growing up? I grew up in a small little village in Philippines. So I grew up eating seafood every single day. That's what people do there for a living. Just Most people there are fishermen, so that's what we eat every day. Seafood, fish, most of the time. I've, eat, I've eaten all kinds of seashell that I haven't seen here. But we don't have crawfish there. We do have shrimp in Philippines, but not, not crawfish. I have noticed that Thailand and Philippines, has very similar ingredients ingredients when we cook our food i know thailand use a lot of um fish sauce or fish paste kind of thing and we have that also in philippines especially when you go to the province we eat a lot of um fish paste so in short for bisaya or filipino ginamus dai we eat that a lot especially in the windy days because those are Those are the kind of food that you can just store in your shelf without you without putting it in a refrigerator. Because in the province, not all people, not many people have refrigerator. So yeah, we eat a lot of that. I'm telling you, I know you've seen me eat papaya salad here. And all the ingredients of that is basically... in very accessible in the province of Phili in the philippines i kept telling my mom you have to try that because we don't really make papaya salad in philippines we have what you call a chara which is kind of pap it's from papaya also but we cooked it i i don't really personally make it but i know we prepare it in a different way
but Thai papaya salad, oh my god, I'm addicted to that. I keep telling my mom, you gotta do it. You gotta try it, man. Because it's, I can see it being very useful for when you, for when the season change, in the windy season, with a lot of stored fish. I haven't been eating much lately. So, I'm not gonna be so good at eating so much when i do my mukbang because you know the less you eat i feel like your stomach shrink or something that's where i'm at right now This is so good. I wish I made some soy sauce too. I like the soy sauce on this a lot also. Oops. You have to try to make that sauce, this coconut sauce. I'm telling you, you're missing out. That one king crab leg did me in. <laughs> Voila. Oh, man. They're so good. So I hope you guys are having a great day. And thank you so much for watching as always. You always support me. And I really, 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 really appreciate it. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Don't forget to check my website and my Etsy site, please.